Kirchhoff, 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 Kirchhoff. This person's first law. Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Kirchhoff's, I think I said that right, first law is that current is conserved at junctions. This means that the sum of currents entering a junction is equal to the sum of currents exiting the same junction. Electric current, that is. Consider these shreddies. There's four of them. And I've used some cutlery to make a little trail for them to travel along. Bear with me. If the shreddies come to a junction which has only one option, what a boring choice of route. Four shreddies going into this junction will mean that four shreddies in total will come out of the junction along this path. No surprises there. If there's a choice of routes available though, this is where Kirchhoff's first law is important. If for some reason only one shreddy takes the upper route, the other three must then go by the other route. Alternatively, if only two shreddies go along the upper route, the remaining two shreddies must go along the other route. What's important here is that the total number of shreddies entering the junction, in this case four shreddies, is equal to the total number of shreddies exiting that junction. So, in total, four. And that's basically it. The actual amount of current that will go along any given branch will depend on the resistance of that branch and then the potential difference across it. But for now, I'll just round off this video with two examples of Kirchhoff's first law. Example one, identify the current flowing in branch A. As we can see, eight amp of current is coming into the junction and three amp is coming out of the junction along that top branch. To conserve current, the total current into the junction is 8 amp, and therefore the total current out of the junction must also be 8 amp. That leaves us with 8 amp equals 3 amp plus whatever the current is in branch A. Rearrange for A, and the current in branch A is 5 amp. Example 2. Identify the current flowing in branch B. As we can see, 4 amp of current is coming into the junction and, oh look! Another 2.5 amp of current is also coming into the junction along that top branch. To conserve current, the total current into this junction is 4 amp plus 2.5 amp, so 6.5 amp in total, and therefore the total current out of this junction must be 6.5 amp, which just so happens to be the current in branch B. That's what we're looking for. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and stick a comment in the comments below.